WBAL News 8 Storm Team Forecast with meteorologist Ethan Houston. Dreary and cool outside right now, not only in Harrisburg, but across much of the Susquehanna Valley. And what you see is what you get. This is going to be the weather you can expect for the rest of the day today, tonight, and also for the majority of your Saturday. Right now, it's 52 degrees in the capital city. Winds are calm, but in some spots, we've had them up to 12 to 14, just making it feel raw. Weather does not look good, especially for high school football later tonight. Super Doppler 8 right now, you can see how the rain shield continues to become a bit more widespread as it's slowly drifting up from the southeast and moving to the northwest. Heaviest batches of showers right now are in northern portions of Lancaster and York County over Mannheim, Elizabethtown, and now starting to work their way up toward Lebanon City right now in Lebanon County. But we're just getting started. Look at all the rain right now from the coast of the Carolinas all the way up now toward Boston. This is thanks to a coastal low that has now started to develop. And remember, the front that moved through here on Tuesday night, that's how far it got, and it stalled off. So that moisture riding over that front, a couple with the northwesterly winds in this developing low, and all that tropical moisture overhead makes a recipe for some steady rainfall and cool and breezy conditions. So for today, we're only seeing our highs climb to the mid to upper 50s. Overnight tonight, temperatures drop to near 50 degrees. The rain will pick up in intensity and could be heavy at times, especially late overnight tonight. Look at the winds. Could see some gusts higher than 20 miles per hour. We'll start to see the rain taper off tomorrow morning, but there is still a threat for a few afternoon showers during the uh, Saturday afternoon with highs once again only climbing to the mid to upper 50s. Look where we are right now at the lunch hour. Only 52 currently in Harrisburg. We're 51 at this hour in New York. Currently 50 in Gettysburg. You're watching us in Lewistown. You're still stuck in the upper 40s. It's all thanks to that breeze and the showers. Here are the winds right now, mainly out of the north northeast. Right now in Lancaster, 12 miles per hour at Chambersburg. You have a northerly wind right now at 13. So what is going on? There's that stalled front. There is the coastal low that has developed. Here's an upper level low, and all of that moisture is being pulled up from the Gulf of Mexico and the Atlantic. Our saving grace, that ridge of high pressure, that's going to start to work its way over toward Ontario and send in some drier air from the north. It does look like Joaquin stays offshore. So our rain that we're seeing out here is all thanks to this coastal low developing, and that's why they're going to see torrential downpours, and we're talking coastal flooding from the Carolinas up into Virginia and the Delmarva as we head through tonight and on into tomorrow. But look at that high at the top of your screen, and watch what happens as we head into Saturday afternoon. It starts to shift to the east, and we start to see some drier air being wrapped in. There still will be some showers, though, I expect, as we head through Saturday and possibly lingering into Sunday because this frontal boundary gets pushed a little farther inland. So it's a very slowly improving situation as we head through the weekend, very slowly. So some sunshine may actually start to peek out through the clouds as we head into Sunday. But let's keep you updated on Hurricane Joaquin. Right now, this storm is very strong and bringing catastrophic winds and also rain to the Bahamas. Right now, it's a Category 4 hurricane. This is now the strongest hurricane that has been in the Atlantic and in the Caribbean in the past five years. And look how slow it's moving to the north at three miles per hour. This storm system, at least to track it from the National Hurricane Center, now keeps this offshore, but closes in on Bermuda as we head into Sunday morning, possibly as a Category 2 hurricane. By Monday morning, it will be offshore and then start to curve back out into the open waters of the Atlantic. This still could change. This is still something we're watching very closely. Closely over the next couple of days. The majority of the computer models, notice right there, keep it farther to the east. A couple models still trying to keep it close to the coast, so not ready to completely write this storm off right now, but signs are improving that Joaquin stays away. Notice the weather improving. 50s today and also for tomorrow, but by the time we head into Monday, we finally get some sunshine back out there, drier weather, warmer weather. Early parts of next week. So, yeah. a couple more days to go. Next week looks really nice. Yes. Just got to get through, like you yeah. said, the next couple of days. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you so much.